Hello and welcome to my channel, Boo Snakes and More. Today we're going to be talking about the 10 Funniest Foxtrot Comics. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And for more videos like this, also watch my other house channel, a and Snakes and Stuff, my youngest son's channel, He Needs Toys and Games, or my oldest son's channel, Little Chris 10. Now let's dive into the video. The word of newspaper comic strips has always been filled with cartoonish characters and hilarious moments. Why Peanuts has honed in on the antics of a wide cast of characters. Others have been more focused in their approach. This is precisely the case when it comes to Bill Armin's long-running Foxtrot comic strip. For more than 35 years, Foxtrot has followed the Fox family as they navigate their own lives and each other. Along the way, the series has highlighted Everything from parenthood to fandom to the pitfalls of being a te pitfalls of being a teenager. White has taken time to pay its respects to some generally tragic events and has never ceased to produce some of the funniest strips of all time. Number ten. Jason continues to try and keep up in Fox Shot comics. As one of the main characters in Fox Trot, it is no surprise that Peter Fox has been at the center of numerous individual comic strips as the eldest son in the family and an overly eager teenager. However, those strips don't always leave Peter laughing at himself. That Peter Fox has been at the center of numerous individual comic strips as the eldest son in the family and an overly eager teenager, however. Those strips don't always leave Peter laughing at himself. This particular strip from 2021 highlights how much Peter struggles to find a way in with the crowds he wishes he could be a natural part of, specifically his high school football team. Although he manages to get the attention of the team and coach, the shots he calls aren't so well received, especially when he is only supposed to be handling out, handing out water bottles to the players. Number 9. Quincy has been terrorizing Paige and Foxtrot for almost, from almost the very beginning. Quincy Jason's pet iguana has been a staple of Foxtrot for most of its run. Over the years, Quincy has taken on a variety of personalities and roles beyond simply lounging around. Quincy has also become one of Jason's best methods of terrorizing his older sister, Paige, even when he hasn't explicitly meant to do so. In this comic strip from 1989, Jason's best friend, Mark, has asked if he can feed Quincy, to which Jason directs his attention to the old tub of common corn that he has Corrupted for storing worms. Unfortunately for everyone involved, that is the very same tub Paige snuck out of Jason's room, thinking it held secret snacks. The strip cuts off before Paige can realize her error, but the implication is perfectly clear and hilarious. Number 8. Quincy continues to prove that the Fox family underestimates him. As much as Jason loves Quincy for the pint-sized lizard that he is, he also loves Quincy for the various characters he has played in the years since his debut. For many fans, the best known of these consists of Don Iguana, Iguanaman, and the Lone Iguana, 
though none of those come close to squiring the menace Quincy himself wishes he was. This 2009 Foxtrot comic features what looks like one of Jason's drawings, only for it to be made perfectly evident that the scene is a rampaging Quincy chasing humans with carnivorous intent is instead playing out within one of the iguana's dreams, all the while both Jason and Peter watch on as Quincy slumbers, assuming that he is having a far more stereotypical animal experience. Number 7. Foxtrot pays homage to its early years in hilarious fashion. The number of long-running media properties that have poked fun at their own beginnings is quite high, especially when it comes to ongoing animated series, such as The Simpsons and Family Guy, that have lived long enough to undergo major design changes. Thanks to its decades-long run, this is also true of Foxtrot, whose characters don't even recognize their former selves for what they are. In 2013, Jason and Peter uncovered a box of old black and white photos that fans will instantly recognize as a classic intentions of Foxtrot's core cast of characters. Unsurprisingly, the brothers quickly point out that none look like they do today. In fact, the differences are so egregious that Peter ultimately questions whether they are even the same people in the first place, whereas Jason is more than happy to break the fourth wall to give his opinion directly to the series creator. Number six, Thanksgiving has been Foxtrot's best running gag for decades. Thanksgiving has provided Foxtrot with some of its most memorable moments, thanks to being one of the most highly celebrated holidays in the series. For most Americans, Thanksgiving is supposed to be about celebrating the things we have and the people we can share them with. For Peter and his dad, Roger, however, Thanksgiving is explicitly about eating as much as possible, preferably one plate for every year of their respective ages. One strip in particular from 1993 showcases the lengths Peter is willing to go to achieve this lofty goal. Fasting comes into the equation for Peter at multiple points, but for the specific moment, the game's name is stretching his stomach and why Jason or anyone else may have been able to talk him out of it. Peter opts for running in place while chugging show soda, hoping things just sort of pan out as he planned. Number five, Father's Day is a reoccurring source of hilarity in Foxtrot. Father's Day is another holiday that is long been celebrated in the panels of Foxtrot on numerous occasions. The other members of the series in Penis family, Fox family, have done everything they can to make sure Roger has the best father's day he can, only for it to be revealed that the family patriarch has forgotten the occasion entirely. Other entries in Fox Rock's Lone Running Father's Day series, however, turn their tables by seeing Jason spend his entire day doing whatever he can to replace his father in the hopes of preemptively invading punishment for destroying one of Roger's golf clubs. When Roger reminds Jason of the holiday, the later is left panicking over the die turn the day has taken, while Marcus is up wondering if his friend has even broached the subject of their mishap. Number four, Quincy and Paige's relationship has evolved throughout Foxtrot, but it isn't any less funny. Paige doesn't like Quincy. That is a simple promise. That is how true when Fox shot for decades, at least. That is how things appear on the surface. Thankfully, the series has provided glimpses into how Paige secretly appreciates her brother's pet iguana, even if they acquire learning into the idea that she can't stand Quincy as a whole. One comment from 2009 finds Quincy comfortably seated on Paige's notebook. This covered with her instance, insistence that she can't bring herself to physically touch Quincy, pushes her to ask her mother, Andy, if she can get a pass for why she was unable to bring in her homework for school that day. And when Andy offers to move Quincy instead, 
Paige asked if she couldn't just write the note, leaving readers to wonder if she didn't carry Quincy the way she wanted him in the first place. Number three, Roger and Andy's relationship. In Fox Rod is the source of plenty of hilarious moments. Between the three children, Roger and Andy Fox already have enough to deal with. Things aren't much different when one another is involved, as neither can stand their partner's hobbies or interests. That being said, Roger and Andy support each other in their respective endeavors, though not without expressing their displeasure when things become unbearable. As much as Roger would like to enjoy the great outdoors with his wife, one of their attempts to embark upon a successful hike leaves Andy pointing out every treacherous aspect of the train. They are traveling along the way, and as much as Roger would like to eschew his wife's concerns, the downpour they are soon enough engulfed by drives him to the point of outburst at the unmistakably disastrous state of their trip. Number two, Fox Trot's eating contest haven't always been about overconsumption. Like their annual Thanksgiving feast would imply eating is a big deal for certain members of the Fox household. Surprisingly, it isn't always about seeing who can eat the most. As seen as this 2016 comic, sometimes it's about seeing who can keep their food down in the first place. When Andy asks Paige what Peter and Jason are doing, she learns they have decided to participate in a backyard eating contest. This obviously sounds like a competition that Jason could never win. Yet Andy isn't aware that the food her sons will be eating just so happens to be the hot dogs that her husband grilled to a burnt, utterly inedible consistency. Number one, Fox Trot's classic Thanksgiving comics continue to hold up year after year. And what might be the most iconic Thanksgiving comic that isn't Peanuts, both Peter's persistent training for the upcoming holiday dinner takes what looks like a disastrous turn for the worse. Between the sunken cheeks and hazy eyes he sports in this 1993 edition of Fox Trot. It is painfully obvious that something isn't right with Peter. And Andy is obsessed when she learns that he has been fasting in preparation for the following evening's dinner. Andy goes on to explicitly ask her son what the point of fasting and being miserable is of doing so is only going to allow him to overeat and also be miserable today after when Peter can't answer Andy asks him too. Dig deep and find the genes I gave you, only for her husband to step into the frame at the exact same moment, sporting the exact same look that their son has. Apart from proving which side of the family Peter gets his more questionable tendencies from, this moment proves that Andy has been dealing with them for longer than any of her children have been alive. Thank you for watching this video and peace out to the next one.